we want to graph a line that passes through the point negative two nine and is parallel to the line graphed below. And then we're asked to write the equation for the parallel line in sloped intercept form or the form y equals mx plus b. Let's begin by determining the slope of the given line. So we'll select two points on the given line with integer coordinates. Let's say this point here, which happens to be the point zero nine, which is the vertical intercept. Let's also select this point here, which has coordinates two comma five. So we could find the slope of the line using our slope formula here, but since we have the graph, notice how if we want to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, we have to move down four units, and therefore the change of y would be negative four. And then we'd have to move right two units, and therefore the change of x is equal to positive two. And since the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, the slope of the given line, m, is equal to negative four divided by two, which simplifies to negative two. This is important because if two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So the slope of the line that's parallel to this line will also have a slope of negative two. So in order to find the equation of our new parallel line in sloped intercept form, we must find the slope, which we just found, as well as the vertical intercept, b. Now it doesn't ask, but notice how, because the vertical intercept of the given line is positive nine, we could also write the equation of the given line, which would be y equals negative two x plus nine. So now let's go to our grapher and graph a line that's parallel to the given line, passing through the point negative two nine. So we'll select the line tool, click on the point negative two nine, which would be here. When we do this, a line appears, and now we'll move the line until it's parallel to the given black line. So it looks like they're parallel now, so I'm gonna click on this point here. And remember, to find the equation of this blue line in slope intercept form, we already know the slope is negative two. Notice how we can also determine the vertical intercept graphically. So let's take this graph back to our presentation. So now looking at the blue line that we just formed that's parallel to the given black line, graphically we can see that the vertical intercept is five, or has coordinates zero comma five, and therefore b, the vertical intercept, is positive five. Which means the equation of the blue line that's parallel to the given line is y equals negative two x plus five. Let's verify algebraically that our vertical intercept is positive five. This would be helpful if we weren't able to determine the vertical intercept graphically. We know our blue line has a slope of negative two, so in slope intercept form, the linear equation would have to be in the form of y equals negative two x plus b. We also know our parallel line passes through the point at negative two nine, and therefore the coordinates of this point must satisfy the linear equation, which means we can substitute negative two for x and positive nine for y, and then solve for b to find the vertical intercept. We could also use point slope form of a line and then solve for y, but let's stick to the sloped intercept form. So performing the substitution, we would have nine equals negative two times negative two plus b. So we'd have nine equals positive four plus b. Subtracting four on both sides, we have b equals positive five, which again we already knew by analyzing the graph. So whatever our approach is, the equation of our parallel line graphed here in blue is y equals negative two x plus five. I hope you found this helpful.